god. Welcome back. So the last time we talked, I let you all know that I did get into hygiene school and I promised a video explaining my um, interview process. So here it is. As you guys know, I was really nervous for the interview and I believe I mentioned in the video from that day that my interview took eight minutes. They set aside time for half an hour and I was definitely expecting something close to half an hour. I interview prepped with other YouTube videos and Google and Reddit articles about, you know, just basic interview questions and then some more that are a little bit more related to this career in dental hygiene. And I practiced interviewing with my best friend and my fiance and his mom um, and my sisters, you know, just trying to be comfortable speaking without thinking too much and just confident with everything that I wanted to say. My interview process included myself and it was virtual. So it was on video, like a Zoom call. And it was with three women who work at the hygiene school. They kind of got on the call and discussed a little bit about who they were and what they do at the school and what brought them into this career um, one by one. So I sat there listening for a little bit and it said that it was nice to meet them virtually. And then they got into the questions. And of course, the first question was why hygiene? They said, so why dental hygiene? And I replied saying that I've been working in the dental field since 2013. And working around such amazing hygienists every day is what drew me to that career path. Um, I love the idea that we can help benefit somebody's overall health with good oral hygiene. And it's really cool to see the progress someone could make and sorry. <laughs> and, um, the fact that with good dental hygiene, um, like gum disease and dental problems could be reversed. And I just want to be that person to help educate my patients on the benefits of good oral hygiene. And then, then their next question was, well, you may have heard that our dental program is full time and difficult. How are you going to handle the stress? And to that, I replied that I am a type A personality and I'm extremely organized. And the main quality that I've learned you must have to be successful is time management and that I would have school be my top priority and that I color code everything and I would make sure that I have enough time to study and I would prioritize that over like personal endeavors. Um, they actually followed up that question with, they said like, have you ever taken, I think it was 14 credits in one semester and how did you handle it? Something like that. And to that, I replied that for all of the prerequisites needed to get into dental hygiene, I was a full-time student. I don't remember how many credits that was per semester, but I think once I went up to 12 and I also worked full-time and I have two kids. So I kind of just explained that time management helped me organize my time accordingly and make sure that my schoolwork got done. I did complete my prerequisites with a 4.0 GPA. Did I cry? Of course I cried, you know. Did I stay up late some nights? Yes, but um, I did it. And that's the reward is what's worth it in the long run. They followed up that question by stating that um, their courses are extremely difficult. How would you manage not sleeping? which I thought was an interesting question. And I think their tactic is just to kind of scare you, but also be reasonable. Like this is a very difficult program. How will you handle it? Like, do we know that you're going to survive this? And so I just replied again, kind of the same thing. I said, you know, yeah, I can sleep 
I'll make time for sleep. Um, I know how to handle my mental health. So if I need a break from studying, I'll take that break. I'll go to the gym. I'll go on a hike. I'll go on a walk. I'll hang out with my kids. Like I'll take the breaks necessary to maintain a good mental state and not um, hit burnout. And I think that was a really great thing to include in my answer because I think they want to know that yes, you'll prioritize school, but you will prioritize your mental health as well. I don't think they want anyone <laughs> struggling mentally in their program, you know? So that was my answer to that. And then they asked me if I have any questions. And to that, I responded and I said, yes, I would love to know from you three what your greatest tip is for a student coming into the program for success. What do you recommend? And they kind of responded saying resilience. Um, the program is difficult. You don't know everything. Um, there is a standard that the school has to reach. You have to reach that standard. You can't think that you got it and like be done. You have to reach their standard and that takes a lot of bounce back. If you do something incorrectly, you shouldn't break down and think you're never going to succeed or that you're an awful human being or whatever. They, they want to know that you can bounce back, take criticism, work to improve. They all kind of said that in different words. Um, and so I took a moment to reply which I thought was really cool. I don't know if everyone does that, but I I stated it and I said, I really appreciate you guys telling me that. I'd love to reply to that. Um, you know, I got out of a very traumatic and abusive marriage and I am here today. I am here today with a 4.0 GPA for prerequisites. I am here today with two healthy children that are getting all A's in their school, you know, kindergarten and first grade, but still... Um, I, uh, I kind of mentioned also that at my current dental office, I sat my dentist down that I work for on one of my first days. And I said, please give me constructive criticism, but just know that if you ever tell me to do something differently or that I did something wrong, you will never repeat it again. Meaning I will work to your standard. I will adjust what I think I know to do it the way you want it to be done. So I kind of mentioned that I'm not working and I'm not going to school to exceed my expectations and exceed my standards. I'm going to exceed yours as a school. And I think they really enjoyed hearing that. Um, the interview was over at that point and I did ask, you know, when am I gonna hear the next steps? And to that they replied that in March I would hear, which I did. Um, I haven't heard anything since. I know some of you may be wondering like what my next step is. I do know my summer classes. I have classes starting June 2nd, every Friday in June. And that's all I know. Um, it did say that you need like medical, dental, and vision checks. So I actually completed all of that and got letters from the providers you also have to get like um, tuberculosis and hepatitis titers or shots. And I did that and I got my immunization record, but I don't know anything else. So when I got accepted into the program, you have to accept your enrollment by April 7th. So I'm hoping in the next two weeks, I will hear some more information about what else is necessary. And I can kind of bring you guys along on that journey. I'm really hoping they have like an orientation class because I'd love to get to this campus before my first day. <laughs> I'd love to go see where it's at and find out more about that. And um, it's coming up, you guys. I have a countdown on my phone, let's see. My first day of school is in 64 days. That is going to fly by. Like what? So I did get my planner. Oh, I'd love to show you guys that. One moment. So I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this company, but there is a planner company called Purple Trail Planners and they're customizable planners. They're not cheap, um, but I am such a organized and type A personality that I need a planner that's like my size, okay? So this one is really cool because not only do you customize the front and back, which is cool, 
Um, but you can customize the way your planner is laid out. So let me show you mine. This is my planner and it's a very me. <laughs> and it says my name, which I thought was really cool. And then the way I customize it is mine is really colorful. You could choose to do black, but I did colors just cause I think it helps. And then for example, for June, um, there is a full calendar like this, which I have not written on. Not sure if I will, not sure if I'm gonna use that, but I did customize the pages and let me show you what I did. I removed Saturdays and Sundays from my calendar. Will I regret that? Possibly. So when I purchase this again for next year, cause it's a one year calendar. Well, actually I think this one's 18 months, but when it's time to repurchase, I may add Saturday and Sunday, depending on how this goes. But as of right now, my calendar is Monday through Friday. I'll show you the next week so that it has all of them. Monday through Friday, okay. And what I love about it is it's broken down by subject. So it just says subject, subject, subject. So I can put all my classes on top and then you have a whole page and you can kind of like keep it organized per class. I loved that. And I don't even think I'm gonna have, you know, nine classes. So if I need more room, I can just double up on the other side. I don't know, I just love how much space there is. And it's cute. So that's my planner and I can show you guys some other school supplies that I have already purchased or have organized if you'd like to see them. And yeah, I will talk to you guys when I hear more information about what's happening next. Thanks for watching. Bye.